Hey there, incredible viewers. Welcome back to our channel Remedy, me, the place to be for a healthier life. The place where we not only aim to entertain, but also empower you with knowledge that can change your life. We're thrilled you're joining us today because we're diving deep into a topic that affects millions of people worldwide, fatty liver disease. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand the warning signs of liver damage, but also discover practical steps to reverse it and live longer. Only if you thought only alcohol can cause fatty liver disease, think again. Unhealthy eating habits and sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise for example, can also cause fatty liver. Surprising fact, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is increasing worldwide and now affecting children too. Shocker. Disclaimer. We're here to share valuable insights, but remember, we're not your go-to for medical advice. This content is for educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical care. Always consult your physician for personalized guidance. Fatty liver disease was once thought to be an affliction of excessive drinking over time or a disease of old people, but here's the shocker. 35% of children are now also affected. Yes, kids. According to a recent Washington Post article from October 3, 2023, pediatricians across the United States are reporting cases of children as young as two developing globs of fat cells in their livers. Some suggest prescribing weight loss medications to these young ones as a solution. But what is the common thread here? The food industry. Is the food industry making your liver sick? Cheaper, nutrient-poor foods are often laden with fat, vegetable oils, and filled with refined sugars. Surprisingly, it's not just fatty foods that make your liver fat, it's sugar too. Before we jump into the warning signs, let's quickly understand what fatty liver disease is. One of the liver's jobs is to filter toxins out of the body. Fatty liver occurs when too much fat gets stored in the liver and it can't function properly. This extra fat also increases inflammation throughout the body. Think of your liver as not being able to properly clean the house when impaired with fat. Be sure to watch until the end because we will share with you how to reverse fatty liver disease, adding years to your life. Five warning signs. Your liver is not doing well. Warning sign number one, persistent fatigue. Your liver is responsible for converting food into energy, and when it's struggling, fatigue becomes a constant companion. Warning sign number two, unexplained weight gain. This could be a red flag. When the liver is overloaded with fat, it can lead to weight gain especially around the abdomen. People with fatty liver disease often have an enlarged belly. This is not just your regular belly fat. We call this visceral fat because it is a type of fat that lies deep within your abdomen around your organs. Some levels of visceral fat are healthy and help protect your organ. However, too much visceral fat can be dangerous for your health. Visceral fat is sometimes called active fat because it plays an active role in creating chronic inflammation. Too much visceral fat can lead to serious health issues such as diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. This has way more ramifications than just your liver, doesn't it? Warning sign number three, enlarged breasts in men. Yes, you heard it right. Enlarged breasts in men can be another sign of fatty liver disease. Maybe you've heard people call the condition man boobs. Warning sign number four, changes in skin and eyes. Your skin and eyes can be mirrors reflecting your liver's health. If you notice unexplained yellowing of the skin or eyes, known as jaundice, it's time to pay attention. The fifth sign to pay attention to, dark urine. Keep an eye on the color of your urine. Dark urine, especially if it's accompanied by a strong odor, can indicate that your liver is not effectively eliminating waste products. This could be a sign of trouble brewing. Tip for detection. Remember that a blood test can be performed to reveal if you have elevated liver enzymes or not, which could be telling. Ask your doctor. So what can you do today to reverse liver damage? Here's a suggestion. Don't go for the easy foods that the food industry is putting in front of you like frozen pizzas, canned soups, pre-made vinaigrettes, or other highly processed foods. Refined carbohydrates like white bread, bagels, white pasta, and prepared boxed foods are highly processed and too many of them will cause problems. Avoid fast food. If it's fast and ready to eat, it's probably processed. Proper nutrition starts with education and learning how to read food labels to understand what they contain. Be aware of what you are putting into your body by carefully reading food labels. Remember, you have the right to choose differently. Be aware of the villains, trans fats, which can be labeled under partially hydrogenated oils and soybean oil, among other things. What if I were to tell you that they are not safe for human consumption? In November 2013, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, made a preliminary determination that partially hydrogenated oils are no longer generally recognized as safe in human food. In other words, 
not safe for human consumption. In English, please, not safe for human consumption. Why are some companies still using trans fats then? Trans fats are easy to use, inexpensive to produce and last a long time. Trans fats give foods a desirable taste and texture. Many restaurants and fast food outlets use trans fats to deep fry foods because oils with trans fats can be used many times in commercial fryers. It's convenient for them, but damaging to your body. Several countries like Denmark, Switzerland, Canada, and US states like California, New York City, Baltimore, have reduced or banned the use of trans fats in food service establishments. Another way to reverse fatty liver disease is to steer clear of soft drinks and added sugars. Soft drinks with high fructose corn syrup or other sweetened beverages lead directly to large increases in liver fat deposits. Need a dose of empowerment? Start reading food labels closely for added sugars, including corn syrup, dextrose, fructose. For example, did you know that the dash of ketchup with your fries can contain the equivalent of almost two teaspoons of sugar? Instead, embrace a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, and oily fish like salmon. It will provide a higher ROI, return on investment, for your health in the long run, I promise. Replace the fruit juices and soda with sparkling water with a splash of fresh lime to help your liver detoxify. Reduce the amount of daily screen time and get moving. Let's start taking more steps in. Exercise isn't just for weight loss. It's a powerful tool for liver health. Physical activity helps burn excess fat, improves insulin sensitivity, and reduces inflammation, all crucial for reversing fatty liver disease. More play every day. Whether it's a dance class or a hike in nature, Physical activity doesn't have to solely mean intense workouts at the gym. Find an activity you and your body enjoy. Start by celebrating the small victories, whether it's choosing steamed veggies over fries or taking a short walk after dinner. These seemingly minor actions contribute significantly to your well-being. Recognize and appreciate each step forward. Limit alcohol consumption. Water is your liver's best friend. Staying hydrated supports the detoxification process and helps flush out toxins. Did you know that the body can signal hunger and trick you into eating when it actually needs water? Aim for at least eight glasses of water a day and consider incorporating liver-friendly beverages like green tea or ginger tea, which have shown to help detoxify your liver. We value you and we want to create more content that you like. Share your comments and stories with us and subscribe to our channel for more health-related insights. See you in the next video.